Hi there, today we are going to be making this granny square. I'll show you how to begin it, change colors, and tie off and weave in the ends. Uh, the instructions I had given you had the first three rows. I expanded it to show you how you can make a granny square as big as you want. You can keep going until you make a whole blanket out of one big granny square. Um, so we're going to do five rows. Today you'll need a tapestry needle, your, your hook, a pair of scissors, and your yarn. So to begin with, um, you're going to start with the yellow and then switch to white and then to green. You can continue to do all one color if you don't care about switching off. Um, I'm going to be following the granny square pattern that I handed out last week. And we're going to just follow along and you'll be able to hopefully follow with me. Um, as we showed you last week, we're going to begin with a slip knot. To make a slip knot, I cross the yarn over and then flip it over the working yarn part, the long part still attached to the yarn skein, and pull up that loop. And that's a slip knot that allows you to adjust the tension there. Put that on my hook, tighten it a little bit. I want to make sure that it can still freely float up and down the hook. And I'm going to start uh, with my working yarn in my dominant hand and my tail. Just kind of hang on to it a little bit while I create my first chain. And use my index finger to keep my yarn in place on the hook. I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hand so that it's comfy and I've got good control of the tension. You can do it this way uh, or you can hold it however's comfortable for you. There's no wrong way. But this it lets you control tension and keep your uh, yarn flowing pretty freely. So the first thing we do is chain three. So chain is the simplest thing you do. You're going to yarn over and pull that yarn through the loop on your hook. Do one more time. Yarn over. Pull through the loop on your hook. So that's two. Yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook. And that's three chains. And you can see three little V's right there. Okay, the rest of this is going to be a combination of chains and double crochet. Now to double crochet, it says we're going to insert into the third chain from the hook. So we're going to count out from the hook. We're going to yarn over to start our double crochet. And we're going to count back one, two, three. And we're going to insert our hook into the closest thing, not counting that knot, closest uh, chain that we created. So we've got three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through that first chain, and then we're going to have three loops on our hook again, yarn over. And this time we're going to pull through two. Yarn over a fourth time and pull through two loops. And that has created our first double crochet. It doesn't look like much right now. It's hard to see. You can kind of separate the chains from that first double crochet. And now we're going to continue working into that same spot. So we're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into that same hole that you did before, the same chain. Put your hook through, yarn over, pull up this loop to make three loops on your hook. Yarn over, and we're going to pull through two loops. Yarn over a fourth time, pull through two loops. So now we have the chain three and two double crochets created. So that's our first thing that we've done in round one. You can spread them apart and you can kind of see them there. You can see the little V's and the stitches. So next, our pattern tells us to chain two and then work three double crochets. So we're going to chain just like we did the first time. 
in the beginning, chain one and chain two. It doesn't want to come through. Sometimes you got to use your fingers to help it along a little. All right. Now we're creating this center spot here with the chains creates that big open gap that you see in a granny square. So now we're going to go back into the same spot that we started in to create our next three double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull up that loop, yarn over again, pull through the first two loops, yarn over a fourth time, pull through two loops, and there's our next double crochet. All right, two more. Yarn over into the same spot. Yarn over and pull up this loop so that we'll have three on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over fourth time, pull through the last two loops. This will become much more fluid as you get practiced with it. All right, you can see the little stitches there. Yarn over. Insert your hook, pull up that loop after yarning over again, yarn over a third time, pull through two loops, yarn over a fourth time, pull through two loops. So now we have three double crochet, and we've got our second chunk of our first round made. So we'll have to chain two again. There's, you can see here in that third part there, chain two, chain one, chain two, and we're going to repeat three more double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook to the center spot again, pull up that loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. Two more times, yarn over, insert your hook into that center circle, Yarn over, pull up that loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over fourth time, pull through two loops. All right, one more. Yarn over, insert your hook into the center. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. There's the third section of our square. So we're going to chain two again. You can see if you pull it apart a little bit, you can see the, the gaps that make up that first section that looks almost like a flower. So there's three crochets, double crochets in there. So now our last one, we're going to chain two again. Chain one, chain two. And it's getting a little crowded, but we're going to double crochet into this center section. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Two more times. Yarn over into the center section. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, sometimes your tail from the beginning of the, the thing gets kind of caught in the middle. Yarn over, you can pull it out out of the way if you need to. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to pull this out out of my way. I'll weave this in later, so it's not really doing anything, just kind of hanging out there. All right, we have our three double crochet. Now we get to close our circle, so we're going to chain two to make that last little chain space we need. And we're going to connect this to the chain three that we did by inserting our hook into the top of that chain three. And we're going to do a slip stitch to connect. The slip stitch is just yarning over and pulling through your two hoops that you want to connect. 
There's one, and then there's two. And so now we have our first square in this granny square. All right, so we've completed round one, and we have the beginning inner circle of our square. We have uh, now to continue that, we're going to chain two. It stands in for a double crochet. All right. Oh, sorry, chain three. And we're going to be in working on the double crochet clusters in each chain space. So we're going to put two in each chain space that we've created from this round, and that will increase our number from four to eight. So we've chained three. We're going to yarn over, and we're going to go into the same space that we chained three. Bring up that loop, yarn over a second time, pull through two loops, yarn over a third time, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert our hook, pull up that loop, yarn over again, pull through two loops, yarn over final time, pull through two loops. So we have our first cluster, and so now we're called to chain two Create the next chain space to move over to our next open space. So we're going to skip these stitches and move to the next gap here. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Repeat that two more times. For two more double crochet, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over. There's two. I'm going to do again, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops. Now our pattern asks for chain two. This is going to make our next corner and we're going to do another double, clust double crochet cluster in the same chain space. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, pull through the next two loops. So two more times. Yarn over into the same chain space, pull up a loop, pull up another loop. One more, yarn over into the chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. All right, so now we've got two in there, and that will be one of our corners. So you can see right there. And we're going to chain two again and move to the next chain two space from the last round. And repeat exactly what we just did. Yarn over into the chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. The chain spaces will get easier to see as you grow your granny square. We're going to repeat. just as we did the first corner that we completed. When we started this round, we started with a half of the first corner, then we did a complete corner, and now we're working on the second full corner. So chaining two, and we're gonna go back into this chain space for three more double crochets. Yarn over, pull up that loop. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Two more. So like that. Yarn over, one more.
Okay, now we're going to chain two to move to our last full corner. One, two, and then we're going to repeat again. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets in all in the same chain space. So here's one. And three. And chain two. So that we create that chain space. Yarn over. Three more double crochets. There's one. Here's two. And here's three. All right, we're going to chain two, and you'll see we've become back around to where we began. So we created the first half of that corner. Now we need to create the back half of that corner. So we're going to chain two. We're going to put three double crochets into the same space that we started with. But we only need three because that's where we began. There's two. And three. Now we'll chain two after they complete this, um, and then join in our beginning chain three. One, two, and that completes our corner. We're going to join in the top of our beginning chain three. And in order to do this, I'm also going to change color now. So I'm going to change to white. So when you're changing color, you give yourself a nice tail, cut off your slack there, um, and then uh, pick up your next color, which in this case is white, and I'm going to put my hook in the top of this chain three from before, like we did, and I'm going to pick up my next color yarn, and I'm going to give myself about a four inch tail, and I'm going to drape that over my hook and pull that through the two loops on my hook. So I'm joining and changing color at the same time. So I'll be ready to go for the next round. So I'm going to make that nice and snug. And for the next round, we'll be chaining three, just like we did at the start of this round. So will be all set. Oops, there we go. Just tightening that up so that it's nice and secure once I'm ready to begin round three. So I'm going to chain one there to make it nice and tight so I don't lose it. <laughs> Just like that. And you'll weave those in later. Okay, so at the end of the last round, we changed colors and chained one to lock it in there. And now we're going to work on a round of white. So this is round three. Um, my tails, I'm going to worry and weave them in later. Uh, if you want to, you can try and work around them, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that now. So beginning round three calls for a chain three. Um, so I'm going to kind of hang on to my tails, keep that snug, and I'm going to chain two more times to complete that chain three that I need to stand in for my first double crochet. All right. 
So now I'm going to do just like we did with round two. We're going to do two more double crochet in the same chain space that we chained three. So we're going to stick our hook in down there, pull up that loop, yarn over once, pull through two loops. Oops, there we go. Yarn wanting to split. And then my, I got to do this again. My yarn wants to split on me. Happens sometimes. So yarn over, inserting my hook into that big chain space, pulling up that loop. Yarn, I've got three on my hook. Yarn over a second time, pulling through the first two loops. Now, good. I can yarn over last time and pull through the last two hoops. So there I've got my second double crochet. Do this one more time. Because remember, our chain three counts as a first double crochet in this round. Yarn, pull over through the last two loops. Okay, so a little different here. Um, we were going to be working into the sides of our granny square. So we're chaining two. And we're going to go into this big chain space on the side. We're going to do three double crochet here. There's one. There's two. Now, when we work on the sides like this, we don't need to worry about corners or things like that. These will just have three double crochets whenever we're on a side. And three. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to get to our first full corner. One, two, and just like we did in the round below, we're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, all in this one chain space. There's two. One more. All right, now we're going to chain two to form our corner. One, two, and then three more double crochets in the same chain space. One, two, Second double crochet, yarn over, pull up that loop, pull through two, pull through two. One more. There we go. One full corner done. So now we're going to be on a side. So we're going to chain two and we're just going to do three double crochets in this side. And you can see as this is building out, you can continue to work on a granny square and build it up and keep going, keep going until you just have one whole blanket made of one giant granny square if that's what you want. Or you can make a bunch of little ones and join them. All right. So I've made my first side there. I'm going to chain two and go to my second corner. So we're going to do three double crochets, a chain two, and three more double crochets all in the same chain space. So there's one. Two. Three, OK, 
Okay. I've chained two. I'm just starting on my second set. Oops, lost my hook. Of double crochet. I need one more. And I'm at my side, so I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to chain do a, a double crochet cluster of just one in there. And then keep going. You can um, fast forward and meet me at the end, or if you're still unsure, you can keep following along. So I've chained two, and I'm putting three double crochet in the side. Just like that. One more. All right. Chain two. Double crochet in this corner, or three double crochet, a chain two, and three double crochet, all in the same last chain space. Two chains to make my corner. Three more double crochet. All right, at my last side, so I will chain two and then put three double crochet in that corner. Pull that tight a little bit. All right, I'm come around, so I'm going to chain two, and we're going to complete this corner by adding three double crochet into this cor last corner, and then chaining two to join. Just like we did in the previous rounds. So I've got one more. i got my tail in the way. I'm going to get that out of the way there. So chain two, and then I'm going to join to the top of that chain three that started the round. I'm not changing colors this round, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to find that, wiggle my hook in there. Yarn over and pull through both loops for a slip stitch. There's round three. Okay, I wanted to do another round, even though we went through three rounds here, uh, another couple to show you um, how to change color again and how you can keep expanding a single granny square to be like a giant granny square. You can make them as big as you want. So I'm gonna, for round four, we're gonna continue with white. I'm going to chain three two, three, to stand in for our first double crochet. And I'm going to, again, do the first half of a corner by uh, doing our two double crochet into the chain space immediately below. 
And as you'll see, after doing that, we're going to chain two. Um, our sides have grown, so we're going to be doing more on the sides than in the previous round below. So we're chaining two, and we're going to work into the first side chain space by putting three double crochet in there. One, two, and one more. Three. Now we have another side chain space, so we're going to chain two and do the same thing in there. Three double crochet, working into this gap. The funny thing about granny squares is that you work mostly into chain spaces rather than into the stitches uh, like you do with other crochet projects. Gives it a really neat, unique look. Right. Chain three, I've reached my first full corner. Chain two, sorry. And now I'm going to do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet to make another corner. Chain two, three more double crochet. Now, if you feel like you've got the pattern down by now of how to do corners and sides, you're welcome to fast forward until the end of the round and meet me again when we go over changing colors one more time. It's up to you. But if you're still unsure, keep following along. All right, I've reached a second side, so I'm going to chain two and do three double crochets into my big chain spaces. You can see I have to keep moving my yarn skein around. You can buy a yarn bowl and that keeps your yarn from rolling all over. Let's see, that's three. If you get serious about crochet, it's worth the investment. Chain two, and now three more double crochet in this side. Last one. All right, chain two. I've reached my second full corner. So I'm going to do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all in the same space. my chain two, three more double crochet. One more. There we go. 
All right, I'm going to chain two and then do my sides again. So three double crochet in each of these two side chain spaces. Chain two. Three more double crochet. Here's number two. One more. All right. Last full corner. So I'm going to do chain two, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Oops, yarn split there. Okay. Yarn over into the chain space, pull up that loop. Turn over, pull through two, pull through two. Last one. Chain two to make the corner. Last three double crochet in this corner. Okay, my last side, again working into these chain spaces, one, two chains, three double crochet, now you can adjust a granny square pattern by using thinner or thicker yarn, um, you can you want if you want your chain spaces to be bigger, you can chain three in between. Uh, it all depends on what look you're going for. Chain two. If you want your corners to be tighter, you can chain one between them. But chain two is pretty normal for your average granny square. All right, now I've come back around to where we began. So I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to do my last double crochet set and join and change color. So we're going to change to green. So we've done the first half when we started, and now we're doing the second half of this last corner. So turn over into the same chain space that we started, pull through two, Pull through two, yarn over, one more double crochet, okay, I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to join into the top of the chain three that we started with. I'm not going to wrap around my, my white because I'm going to bring in my green. Um, I'm going to trim my white. I'm going to give myself a nice four or five inch long tail there so that I can weave that in later. I'm going to grab the green. Again, giving myself a nice length. And I'm going to drape that over my hook and pull that through the two white loops on my hook, keeping them nice and tight, tight there. There we go, just like that. And I know I've 
completed round four. All right, in round four, we finished up our white and we added in the green. So we're going to do one more round with the green. And let's see, we can tighten up our, our pieces here by kind of tugging on our ends. Make sure they're nice and tight. And then we're going to uh, chain three. So that'll secure our green in place. And begin round five, our last round. Okay, give those ends a little bit of a tug. We'll weave them in when we're done. You can yarn over, enter the chain space, and we're going to do two double crochet. Now I'm kind of, in this one, I'm working around my tails, and that will help later when I go to weave them in. You can work around them sometimes depending on the project. All right, my green's getting tangled there. And so we're doing that first half of the corner, and then we're going to work on the sides and then come back to the corners. You can see how this is expanding. So chaining two. We're going to do three double crochet in each of these side chain spaces. There's one, two, and three. Chain two. And you can see now, by this point, how granny squares grow and can become a whole um, blanket if you want one to. Chain two, three more double crochet in this spot, this chain space. Okay, and now we're at a corner. So we're chain two, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets to this corner space. Just like that. Chain two. Turn over, three more double crochet. Now, if you think you've got the hang of this, um, we're going to chain two and continue on this side. If you think you've got the hang of this, you're welcome to fast forward to the end and um, Meet me at the end where I'll show you how to weave in your ends and finish your square. But otherwise, we'll keep going together. We're going to do three more double crochet in the side, each of the side chain spaces here. Chaining two into the last side space. All right. 
right, reached another corner, so I'm chaining two, and three double crochet, chain, chain, chain two, three more double crochet, all in the same corner chain space. There you go. Once you get the hang of this, you can see how quickly you can work up a whole bunch of squares and um, you can make a nice little throw blanket. There's our corner. We're going to continue doing our sides. Chain two, three double crochet in each of the side chain spaces. Chain two, to the middle space. Chain two. Here's our last one. Now we're going into our last full corner. We're gonna three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Something I have not talked about uh, is blocking. If you're doing a blanket or some other bigger project, sometimes your, your yarn will want to curl up chain two here. Um, when you block something, you get your, say, granny square, you get wet, and then you pin it down to like a foam surface um, so that it's kind of nice, stretched nice and taut, and let it dry that way, and that helps it retain its flat shape. All right. On to our last side. Three double crochet in this side space. Chain two into the middle. Three double crochet here. Chain two, and then in our last side chain space. We've come around to our last corner where we're going to just do three more double crochet, chain two, and join up. And then we'll finish off. So three double crochet. We're going to chain two and then slip stitch to join. And that's just what we call it when we're, you know, and put our hook in the top of the chain there, yarn over and pull through those loops. That's a slip stitch. Okay. So I'm going to 
pull that up a little bit so I don't lose it. I'm going to give myself plenty of yarn to weave in, about four or five inches. And I'm going to tighten it, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull that through the loop on the hook to make a little knot, just like that, nice and tight. And that we flat fastened that off. So once it's fastened off, you can weave it in using your tapestry needle. You weave in all your little bits and bobs there, as the British would say. <laughs> so starting in, the, I like to start in the center, work my way out. Basically, just put your yarn through the eye of your tapestry needle, and you want to weave it in um, through a nice thick part of your crochet. So now we started this with a knot in the um, ring there, so you don't have to worry too much about it coming undone. I like to go through and then change directions, go over one loop and then come back. Kind of like that. And then I can just carefully snip that off and give it a little stretch and it should hide back into the yarn. So, and then I'm gonna do that with the others. It gets a little tricky on the outer loop. Let me give that a tighten that um, because there's not as much yarn there to hide it but so you want to look for a pretty thick spot to weave it in make sure it's not showing through the other side and then I like to kind of work around in another direction around a strand and then come back more kind of woven in on itself that you can get it the less likely it is to come out and then just trim that off and this next piece with these tapestry needles, it makes it very easy to weave in to get the yarn through the eye. Again, I'm going to work it in through a nice thick area right there. Come out. Tighten a little bit. Go in one of these yellow loops right here. down and through here. Changing direction always helps with um, weaving in your ends and keeping them secure. There we go. If you have two ends close together, you're, uh, you're always welcome to tie a knot in them. Um, that sometimes helps with the outer edges. So I'm going to just show you this outer edge real quick. I try on these to kind of work my way back down to where I've got some thicker yarn clustered together. And I want to make it too tight because then it'd be hard, you know, you'll make a, a dent in the edge of your uh, square, but then I can work it down through this cluster of stitches right here, like that. I get paranoid, see, see there, it doesn't make too much of a dent there. I get paranoid, so I always think more is better. And then just snip that off. There we go. And like I said, if you have two together like this, you're welcome to tie them in a little knot, as long as it'll be hidden, and then weave them in. Just make sure you need enough of a tail to weave in. Um, because if you cut it too close to the knot, it'll just come unraveled. But I can hide that knot under the yarn there. And then weave these in. Right under these green stitches right here. Like that. 
making sure I don't actually get any of the stuff I want to stay together. And the last piece. And I can just go right in the same spot. Now, if you were making a granny square project and ran out of, um, let me tuck that in there. See, I cut that a little too close and now it's popping out. Um, so I can just tuck that in with the edge of my needle. Um, but uh, if you were working on a granny square project and ran out of yarn and a color, you can always join your yarn um, more of the same color, just like you did with a color change. So let me tuck that back in there. And there you have your granny square. Five things. Bye, friends. Thank you.